Well, Jeremy Hansen here from Fox Valley Tech with another segment of Life on the Farm. And joining me today is Chelsea Russell. Chelsea, you're from the Midwest Forage Association, correct? I am. Yeah. And can you tell me a little bit about what you do with MFA? So my job title says local council director, but a relatively small office. So we're kind of um, people that can do a little bit of everything. Uh, a big part of my role is to work with the different local councils. So we have 15 local councils in Minnesota and Wisconsin. The majority of them do come in from Wisconsin because you guys are lucky enough to still have a lot of county forage councils. Um, so we support the local council meetings and uh, we are the regional voice for forages. We get our support from the grassroots level at the different local councils, and then we bring it all the way up to a national level with our affiliation with the National Alfalfa and Forage Alliance. Right. And you are joining me today at a local um, Forage Council annual meeting in Calumet County. I am. Yes, and thank you for coming all the way down here. Um, can you tell me a little bit more specifically about what the Midwest Forage Association actually does for, for producers? Yes. So, like I said, we're the regional voice for forages. Uh, direct benefits to the farmer members. Um, they get access to member coupons. So you might see a lot of green around here. Restrin Chanel is one of the companies that provides uh, coupons just to the MFA members. So they get a direct benefit for their money spent. But another important thing that we do is we fund the Midwest Forage Research Program. And uh, we've given out over a quarter million dollars to local projects. So um, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Iowa, they all have gotten some funds out of it. They are relatively smaller projects than they would get out of like a nationally funded project, but it provides a lot of seed money and local projects that they can bring to meetings like here at the Calumet County Forage Council. So Wisconsin um, alfalfa yield and persistence project is something that MFA has been involved in uh, pretty much since the beginning of that project. Uh, Otagami County Forage Council recently received funds to do a project on twin row spacing for uh, corn silage. So there's different smaller pools of money that local researchers can use to improve forages and uh, profitability for the farmers. Right. And Midwest Forage Association also has a national voice as well, correct? We do. And MFA um, benefits a lot from this affiliation because we are the largest hay affiliate involved with the National Alfalfa and Forage Alliance. Um, we have a board member, uh, John Rudinger, actually comes out of the Fond du Lac County Forage Council. He sits on the NAFA board with us. Um, we've been able to go to D.C. and help with educational efforts and make lawmakers aware of the value of forages. Um, forages are our fourth most valuable field crop, but it is not often treated like that. One big example is um, the CFAP payments. So alfalfa was actually a very noticeable omission from the first CFAP payments, and it took a NAFA effort, and we brought farmers from the Midwest Forage Association with us to do that, and then alfalfa was included in the CFAP 2 payments. So then alfalfa farmers were able to get a payment out of that, but it took a national voice and it took MFA and feeding our membership in through that to be heard and say, hey, you're forgetting about a very important sector of the agriculture world. Right. And, and uh, to the farmers and producers, absolutely thank you for that because that was a very, very well surprise in, in the second payment last year. So, um, and finally, you know, your role here today in, in Calumet County, you know, what, what, are you, what are you planning on doing with us today? So, we have an update going through some of the uh, national initiatives, some of the things that NAFA is working on that might help, um, such as working on the maybe more of the environmental and getting involved in some of the programs that cover crops are, because alfalfa is, is a very good cover crop. It does all of the things cover crops do. So talking about the different national, NAFA initiatives, as well as the local um, outreach that we do. In this particular meeting, we helped with the registration and kind of the promotion. It really depends on what the local councils need in that. Right. And we appreciate your help and, and your presence here today. So, Chelsea, thank you so much for the information you shared. Um, lots of valuable information, and thanks for your trip down here. Thank you. So, so for Life on the Farm, I'm Jeremy Hansen.